Welcome hackers. Today we're going to be unboxing, reviewing, and programming the Make It Hacken DEF CON 29 badge. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can get custom PCBs for $2. And this is where I got the PCBs for my project. We're going to take a look at the fully assembled Make It Hacken badge. There's going to be another video if you're building the kit. All right, so let's open up the box. All right, so here's the box. You open it up, we have this right here, it's just a packing list and also goes over the information. There's a QR code for the GitHub. Uh, all the information and instructions are gonna be on the GitHub. Okay, so we got that. And then everything's gonna be in this bag, so let's check it out. So for reference, we have that th we have a badge in here and it's fully tested. All right, so here's everything that comes in the bag. Uh, we have a fully tested badge, a lanyard, some batteries, stickers, and the ICSP connector. Um, so let's just go over this. Uh, we have a green lanyard here. Um, it clips up onto the top like so. Okay. And then we have our Make It Hacken stickers. So this is the general Make It Hacken sticker, and this is the one that I created for DEF CON 29. And uh, this was for the DEF CON sticker contest. I won second place, so you can have those for your pleasure. Put them on your computer or whatever. This is the 2x3 uh, programming port. If you wish, you can solder that into the programming port, and then you can more easily program your badge. Uh, we'll go over that later. All right, and then we have our three AAA batteries. Put them in like so. All right, so taking a look at the badge, let's kind of see what's on here. We have some NeoPixel LEDs. Those are the white ones. We have an ATtiny85 microcontroller. We have some buttons, a switch, an SAO connector. And then on the back, we have the battery pack and some text on there. All right, so let's turn it on. We turn it on and we get the loading screen. Right now, this is just demo software. If you want to, you can load extra stuff onto the badge. Press button to test components, so we press the button. And here we have a light sensor value readout. So over here, there's a light sensor. And if we cover it, you can see those numbers change. This is an analog value from zero to 1023. And if we press the button, we go into the next mode, which is night light mode. It says threshold 100, that's reprogrammable. And so anytime that the light sensor senses less than 100 on that pin, it turns these lights on, so it kind of acts like a night light, right? And then we press the button again, and it goes into demo mode. Uh, it's basically just flashing the LEDs, different colors, changing the text on the screen, and it also reads out the light sensor value. Um, and that's the Make It Hacken badge. There's a couple extra things that sort of make it uh, more Make It Hacken related, and that is the security tags. So here we have an 8.2 megahertz, also known as Checkpoint, and then we have here a 58 kilohertz, also known as Sensormatic. Um, so this may or may not cause security alarm gates to go off in stores. Uh, it kind of depends on, um, you know, some other factors, but these are currently active security tags. Uh, but don't go set off those things. Um, so that's the Make It Hacking badge. Let's take a look at the SAO port. All right, so for the SAO port, you just plug in your SAO into there. If you don't know about SAOs, it stands for a shitty add-on, and it's just extra little, like little mini badges that you can plug into existing badges. So um, I forget how long, but in the past couple years, it's been a six pin thing right here. So um, the Make It Hacken SAOs I gave out during DEF CON, I just got a few left, so I'm not selling them. But that is the SAO port. If we take a look at the back of the badge, we see the programming port, the Make It Hacken logo, Hack the Planet. And it says, this badge features both 8.2 megahertz and 58 kilohertz security tags. If you would bring this in a retail store, it'll set off the security alarms. Please note that these tags are deactivatable, so be careful. Um, and then it has the GitHub link where you can check out more, as well as my social media on the back. I'm not exactly sure how long these batteries last. It kind of depends on which mode you're in and that sort of thing. So when you're not using it, I would turn it off, right? 
The schematic and all the files that were used to make this badge are going to be on the GitHub. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to check out that link. You can also scan the QR code. All right, so to program the Make It Hacken badge, you need some kind of AVR programmer. If you have an Arduino Uno, you can use one of those. How to set that up is beyond the scope of this video. So I will link a video in the description on how to set up an Arduino Uno for programming an AVR chip like this one. But basically you need six pins and it's called in circuit serial programming. So I already have my six pins set up and the documentation will show you which pin goes where. But in the upper left hand corner, that's where the ground goes. So I'm going to put mine in like that. Um, I recommend having the switch in the off position and when you plug it in, you should get your power light on. Depending on how you have this configured and what kind of bootloader you're using, you may need to burn the bootloader uh, before you upload. So right now I'm going to burn the bootloader. You should see on here this blink a little bit. Okay. Um, and now I will upload the code. The first NeoPixel might act a little weird when it's just the bootloader. Um, that's because all the code has been erased. Um, and now the code is compiling in Arduino and should be uploading soon. If you have the AVR programmer with the different status LEDs, it definitely helps. Um, so right now this blue one flashing means that it's uploading and you should also get the notifications for things on the screen as well. Okay, that goes out. I look at the screen, done uploading. Okay, so now I take this out and then if we turn it on, we should see everything is good to go. Just kind of test these again. Looks good. Now there is an option in the software to do your own custom screens. The way you do that is mentioned in the code. You go to this website uh, called image to CPP and you convert your bitmap into code using some settings that are, that is also listed in the code. And then you copy and paste that into your code. So that is how you upload code to the badge. I highly recommend that you go in there and you, you can add menus, you can do a lot of other stuff and yeah, just you know, have fun, hack the badge. I'm gonna show you a couple secret uh, menu items right now. So if you hold down the button and you turn on the screen, it'll say you have unlocked a key. It is the title of my most viewed TikTok. Now this was for a CTF that has already ended, um, but that's like one secret menu. The other one is if, you, I have to put the light sensor up to the bright light, but um, it's, it's, if it senses really bright light and I have the button held down. So I'm going to bring it up to the light right now, hold down the button, turn it on, and it starts blinking some Morse code. Uh, that Morse code is also part of the CTF. Again, the CTF is already over, um, but just some examples of some fun things that you can do with this. Finally, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who purchased the badge. I appreciate all your love and support and I'm glad I could bring this to you this year. And I'm really excited to make something for next year. I got a few ideas, so we'll see what happens. <laughs>